Shalom family, this is Grammy Yah. I am coming to you guys with a easy and an inexpensive recipe, you guys. Cabbage stir fry. We're gonna start off with a cabbage. I'm only gonna use half of this cabbage because this recipe makes a lot. So I'm gonna use half of this cabbage, but if you have a large family, you can use all of this cabbage, okay? I'm gonna start off with a yellow pepper and a red pepper and a green pepper. You can use an orange pepper. I'm just using what I have, green, red, and yellow, okay? And one onion. I like mushrooms. I love mushrooms, so I'm gonna add two packages of mushrooms. I'm going to add some carrots. I'm going to add a little bit of minced garlic, a little sea salt, and some pepper. And a little coconut aminos. This is optional. This is like uh, soy sauce, but for like vegan. Uh, basically, really, this is a vegan meal because I'm not going to use any meats, but you can throw some... Uh, grilled chicken into this but this is pure vegetables and what's going to take it to the next level is this pure sesame seed oil you guys this stuff right here this stuff right here make almost anything taste good you know when you go to an asian restaurant or a japanese restaurant the way they food tastes they use this sesame seed oil so i'm gonna get all my vegetables washed cut up bring me closer so you can see I'm using my mandolin today, but this is one that I had a while, but um, now I believe you can buy them with the little gloves so you won't cut your finger off, but I'm not gonna go that far down. So this mandolin makes chopping so easy. And it's giving you your pieces all the same size, okay? So once I get my carrot a little closer, I'm going to stop and then I'll just use a knife. So here we go. That's looking gorgeous. Now my red pepper. Just not trying to cut <laughs> my finger. Okay. Carrot stuck in here. Yeah, so just slice your vegetables the long way. And I'm gonna show you in a second. So when I get my red peppers all cut up. And like I said, when I get a little closer, I'll just use my knife because I don't have the mandolin glove. So I'm going to show you something very beautiful. And what I'm going to do is I will be cutting, look at that, that's a lot of food. And what I will be doing, I will be cutting my cabbage like that as well. See, I'm cutting them the long way. Even my onions, okay? All except for the carrots. The carrots are circular, okay? And I'll, I'm gonna try to get my cabbage this way too. That's a lot of food. And this the, the cabbage is not even added. So if you want to, you could do a half a pepper each and one carrot. Yeah, and still with your half a half of a um cabbage and maybe a half an onion. Doesn't that look beautiful? Okay, and I'm gonna show you how I cut the cabbage on the mandolin as well. This this is what I want my cabbage to look like. You see? Sh kind of shredded. So I just throw that on top. Kind of shredded. Okay. 
and long, okay? And like I said, this is a half a head of cabbage. And remember, I'm using two cups of, two containers of mushrooms. You can use one cup to make this recipe um, much smaller. I am saving my peppers. I'm gonna let them dry out for the seeds and then I'll put them in little bags and label them so I can have some green and yellow and red peppers this summer. Okay, I'm gonna start out with my mushrooms. Turn my fire on high. I don't need any oil right now. And I can already see that I'm gonna have to get a bigger pot. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let these mushrooms um, boil down some, but I'm gonna keep the juice. I'm gonna put my top on them so they can um, cook down. And right after they cook down, I'm gonna add my carrots because the carrots are the hardest of all the vegetables that they are. So I'm gonna throw my carrots in here in a little while. Okay, I'm gonna now. uncover my mushrooms. Okay, do you see when you cover your mushroom, you see all that liquid? We want that liquid. It makes its own liquid, okay? Now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna throw in my two carrots. Two carrots, sliced up. And now I'm gonna put in about two tablespoons of the sesame seed oil. Yes. And I may have to add more, don't know. It all depends on the taste, but two tablespoons. So I still have my heat on medium high. I need to cook the carrots down just a little bit because the onions and the peppers and the cabbage, that cooks very fast. So I'm gonna let the um, carrots cook down for been about, about five minutes since these carrots been sauteed with my mushrooms. Oh, it smells so good in here, you guys. This sesame seed oil is the bomb. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add about one tablespoon of minced garlic. Yes. Get my garlic in there. This is very inexpensive, you guys. And now I'm just hoping that I have enough room <clears throat> I'm gonna add my onions. It doesn't matter what order. It's just that my onions are right here. My red peppers, like I said, we're not cooking this down so it can be mushy. No, I want my vegetables to still have that crunch, okay? So I've added everything except my cabbage. And I might, I might make it in this pot. I'll see. I might make it. And what you can do is gonna be some juice left. And you can make you some rice or some quinoa. Yes. I think Dr. Sabi would approve this. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stir everything up and around. And then going to let this saute and cook down. But I'm not going to let it lose its crunch. Okay? So I'm going to cover this up for about five more minutes. Okay, it's been about five minutes. You can let yours cook longer if you don't want a real big crunch or you can stop it at five minutes. Okay, now I'm going to add my cabbage. 
Yes. Hope I can get all this cabbage in there. I should be able to. Yes. I'll make sure I put the recipe, well, the ingredients in the description box, you guys, in case you guys want to try this. And I'm adding coconut aminos. This is made out of coconut, you guys, but this is soy sauce without the soy. <laughs> yes. Soy sauce without the soy. Well, soy, but you know what I mean. And maybe about a couple of tablespoons, maybe about one tablespoon. I'm going to add me some sea salt to this. You just add it to taste. A little sea salt, a little black pepper, or whatever type of heat that you have. You can throw in cayenne pepper if you like. And I'm just going to gently mix my cabbage into this. You guys, this is a very inexpensive meal. I'm telling you. And you can feed a lot of people with this for pennies on a dollar. It's all vegetables. And it's good for you. Okay. I didn't add any onion powder in here because I have a whole onion in here already. Now, doesn't that look delicious? That looks delicious. I'm gonna taste it, make sure I have enough salt and pepper in it. Like I said, you just season it to your taste buds. And there's a lot of juice down there. Can you see that juice? Then you can pour that over some rice and while I was off camera, I was looking for my sesame seeds. I could not find my sesame seeds. So you can sprinkle some sesame seeds. And like I said, I put my cabbage in there last because the cabbage was almost shredded. It just need a little bit more salt. And a little bit more pepper. And everything else is good. I did add maybe a teaspoon more of the sesame seed oil because I really wanted that Asian taste. So, this is so delicious. I'm gonna have hubby come and try this. And like I said, it's plenty of juice. So if you want rice, you can add rice. It's hot, honey. Get your fork. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh, some rice or some quinoa. I'm gonna have hubby to give it a try. Yeah, let me put the that? let me put the camera up so you can see him. It's hot, so be careful. Okay. Be honest. Mm -hmm. The um the vegetables they still nice and crispy. Gotta blow it. Mm, nice flavor. Mm, that's good. Are the vegetables crispy? Yes. They still crunchy. Crunchy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. Here we go, babe. <laughs> I said, mm -hmm. babe. <laughs> here we go, family. So easy, and it doesn't take a long time, and it's all vegetables. Mm -hmm. But like, but like I said, if you want to add some uh, grilled chicken in here, mm -hmm. you can. But I'm I'm trying to cut out on meats, okay? So I will eat this just like this, and it's so filling. So I guess he's telling it all, okay? I want to thank you guys. It is so easy. I'll leave everything in the description box. You guys can do it. And it's how does it smell in here? Mm, smells great. Yes, mm -hmm. something about that sesame oil just mm -hmm. light up the kitchen. I love you guys, but I love the most high more. Shalom. Shalom.